This is Special Chronicles, giving respect and a voice to people with special needs. I shudder thinking how the world can be so cruel. I lend my voice to those who can't. It's time we try. It's time we care. It's time to stand. It starts with a voice. Welcome to the Special Chronicles podcast. My name is Daniel Spogowski. I'm the founder of Special Chronicles, a Southern Survivor Global Messenger alum with Special Olympics and a Combat Energy Force Ambassador. Website specialchronicles.com for links to follow us on social on social media as well as to list to our archives, go to our newsletter, and all that. This week on the Special Chronicles podcast, Combat Energy Force Ambassador Zach. Bones joins us on this episode of our Comed Energy Force series, season seven, part five, five, as we spotlight his story, becoming an Energy Force ambassador, and highlight how hit the organization's shining abilities is serving families in Lake and McConaughey Mc- counties throughout uh, Illinois through recreational pro- programming for individuals with developmental disabilities and popping in and out of the episode might might be Jenny from Shining Abilities. Please put your both your hands together as we welcome uh, uh, Zach on to the Special Chronicles podcast. Welcome, Zach. Hello. Um, good, good to have you on the program, Zach. And uh, we we got connected thanks to our partner, Kamed, uh, and the Kamed Energy Force Ambassador Program. Uh, and so, uh, Zach, uh, for the people that are just listening to the audio podcast, we want to let you all know, go check out the video on our YouTube, specialchronicles.com, and you can click on YouTube, and you will see that not only are you wearing a Kamed hat, uh, but the shining abilities behind you, and then you've also got a brand new medal from our Special Olympics Illinois Summer Games, which you were telling me in a pre-show that's a silver medal in Bachi. Bachi, yeah. Bachi. <laughs> awesome. So for our listeners, um, for any of our new listeners, I'm sure there might be some Listeners that might uh, might already know you, but for a lot of our listeners are uh, just meeting you for the first time. Why don't you introduce yourself? Tell us what disability you were di- diagnosed with. Tell us about your family and. Right. Um, I have uh, I have Down uh, syndrome. And your family. Uh, I live with my parents, my mom, my dad. My sister, my n- nephew, my dog, and my nana. Awesome, awesome, and and um, the focus of this podcast is is not all. It's not always about. Uh, well, it's it's not always about our challenges, but I think it's good to kind of set the uh, set the uh, kind of backstory. For our listeners, and you share with us what are some of the challenges because of your um, disability? Both show your parents. No. Well, yeah. What? No, no. What are some of the challenges because of your. Like what? Okay. Uh, I said none. You don't, you don't have any challenges? No. Like, is, is there anything that you find that's difficult for, for you to do? <laughs> tell him. Tell him what's difficult. You said learning was a little difficult. Right? Uh, uh, learning. Learning new uh, things, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good. Well, and as, as we know at Fush Chronicles and, and, and what I'm sure uh, Shining of Buddies knows is – it's not about our challenges, but a lot of the big thing of this program we focus on is what um, 
challenges is not the focus of this podcast, but it's about our joys and accomplishments. So if you share with us and uh, for the, again, for the listeners watching the video uh, episode, you'll see an one of your newest accomplishments is around is a medal that's around a special Olympics medal that's around your neck from th this past weekend. But what else are the joys and accomplishments because of your um, disability? Maybe use that silver medal as a jumping off point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You love special Olympics, right? Yes, I do. <laughs> and you're able to compete because of why? Your disability, right? You get to be... Mm. Go ahead. Pull it. Oh no! Oh uh, no! Oh oh! You have to compete. I uh, compete with your friends. With my friends. And and as we said, I think we're, we're, we're recording this in um, June tenth. So we're coming off of the uh, summer games that just happened down in Bloomington Normal. Uh, what was your favorite part about competing at the, uh, the summer games for Special Olympics Illinois? Um, I play bocce ball. How many meets did you have? Two. Two games, uh, right? Two games. And did you smoke them? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you did really well, <laughs> right? Yes, I did. <laughs> um, Awesome. So we're going to hear a little bit more about how you got involved with ComEd, the ComEd Energy Force Semester Program, as well as Shining Abilities after a uh, short break. But just to let all of you listening know that support for, for special support for uh, Special Chronicles comes from uh, listeners like you, please join our supporters with a monthly or one-time donation to help us operate our studio and continue our mission, giving respect and voice to people with disabilities. Visit specialchronicles.com slash give. That's specialchronicles.com slash give. And, uh, and you can uh, join our Special Chronicles Plus podcast, receive bonus content, and to help support the show if you want to heal the, the pre-show of, of what it was like uh, uh, of um, getting everything set up with Zach and um, getting his hat on, his name tag on, and see all that behind the scenes, scenes specialchronicles.com slash plus. We will hopefully have that up that we're working on that. And we'll back. And Zach, speaking of uh, – if, if for those listening, they might see a combat hat you're wearing, a combat polo that I'm wearing. And uh, just like Special Chronicles is partnering with Special Chronicles, Comet is also partnering with Shining Ability. So how did you first hear about the Comet Energy Force Ambassador Program? Let's start there with how you first heard about Shining uh, who told you about it? Um, Jenny, Jenny and Jesse. Awesome. And I, I know if, if, if Jenny, if you want to pop pop in here and and, and kind of share how okay, come in. We actually heard about the program through WGN, and we applied for it. And Zach is one of our first um, participants who really wanted a job, so we thought this was a great opportunity for Zach. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, yeah I, I know Comet has done a few different media uh, uh, stories out, out mm -hmm. there. And I, think, um, I joined Sean on Fox 32 News uh, last year when when they were trying to get more ambassadors. Mm -hmm. So, Zach, how, why did you want to become an Energy Force Ambassador, I think Jenny said that that you that you wanted a job, but what what why besides getting paid, <laughs> why, <laughs> why why else did you want to become an energy false ambassador? Uh, you know this, you wanted to win, right? Mm -hmm. Tell them. You wanted to learn more about it, right? Yeah, and tell people. Yeah, tell people. About yeah, how, how to save energy and, yeah. and using solar, yeah. and solar panels, right? 
Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Well, so just like any jobs that we have, uh, there's a lot of skills that you learn with with a new job. So, what is, is there any, any skills that you have learned in your role as an Energy Force ambassador? Um, that well, well, by the time our listeners hear this, it'll be August. So, we're well, we recording this in June. So, like within the first, you know, the first half of the year, uh, is what what, is, what skills have you learned and that you have used as an Energy Force ambassador? Um, you learn talking social skills, right? Talking to people. Talk to, uh, 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 talking to uh, uh, other people. Mm-hmm. Sharing your information. Sharing um, my information. Awesome. 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 And uh, you've done a few engagements, whether it was in person or virtual. Can you tell us about a few of your favorite engagements that you've done as an energy force ambassador. It's okay if if, if you say that this podcast was your favorite. <laughs> no, my favorite. What's, what's a few of your favorite engagements? Um, I did uh, some. I did some a uh, a uh, uh, poet plunge. The poet uh, plunge, right? Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to. Shine Birdie's uh, uh, craft show. Yep, we did a craft show, right? Yep. And you did a presentation there. But this one's your favorite, right? Yes. Sean and Colin from ComEd, the ComEd Energy Pulse special program, our listening will make sure that, that they know that yes. uh, when you put in uh, this as one of your engagements, <laughs> that this was your um, favorite. In fact, we can even Edit out a, a clip. <laughs> okay. Okay. Maybe that. Maybe that. That'll be the clip for the for the episode. Uh, what What would you say to encourage others with disabilities and other organizations? And um, Johnny, after Zach shares, maybe you can share from the um, job coach perspective okay. for other organizations. But um, Zach, uh, what What would you say to encourage others to get? To partner with the ComEd Energy Force Ambassador Program to become an ambassador, they have their organization to get involved. What do you tell people? Um, I tell people um, go for it, right? Go, go for it. <laughs> just do awesome. it, right? Yeah, just do it. Awesome. <laughs> kind of like what I think Nike might s- yeah. say that. Yeah. <laughs> and. And Jenny, from the shining abilities perspective, why, like, what would you say to encourage other people to other organizations to partner? I think this is an amazing program. Um, we hope to continue to be in it for a very long time. Yep. It gives Zach the opportunity to go out into the public and work on his social skills and teach people about mm-hmm. ComEd, yep. right? Yes. What's your favorite thing to talk about? It's so. <sighs> Solar panels, I guess. Solar panels. And it, it just gives him an opportunity to get out there, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Well, we're going to, speaking of shining abilities, we'll talk about that after our next uh, our next break right here, or just a brief, okay. brief break. To let you all know, the support for Special Chronicles comes from ComEd Energy Force Ambassador Program, the country's first energy and solar efficiency education program designed for and taught by people with disabilities like Zach and myself and the other Energy Force Ambassadors. Learn more at specialchronicles.com slash ComEd. That's specialchronicles.com slash ComEd. And with that, Zach, Mm -hmm. uh, so our listeners... Uh, if they're watching the video, they see shining abilities below you, behind you, uh, mm-hmm. and, and this is the first time I learned about shining abilities. And I know at the at at the top of the the uh, top of the episode, I when I introduced you, I, I I mentioned a little bit about it. But can you share with our listeners what is shining abilities? What's the mission of shining abilities? Um, shining abilities for uh. Uh, uh, go ahead. What is it? Adults, uh, young adults for 
day program. Day day program. They are doing a talk. Right now they're outside, but they're what do outside. we do here? This is your home, right? This is yes. This who is who hangs home. out here with you? My brother Brandon. Your and all of your friends, right? Yeah. All my friends and my big brother. <laughs> awesome. And, and uh, Johnny, did you want to add anything about the mission of? Sure. The, so our mission is to empower our special needs community by providing a nurturing and inclusive environment and for them to shine bright in the community. Um, we're fairly new. We started last October. We opened our doors to our vocational day program, and we're in the process of opening our second location now which will be a training center and a marketplace, um, yep. right? And you're, Zach will be able to make some of his goodies and sell them in the store, Yep. right? And um, yeah, we're growing fast. Uh, we're up in Lake Villa, which is pretty close to almost uh, Wisconsin. But, no, uh, <laughs> um, but there isn't much about out, about out here, right? Uh, my dad's shop. Oh, your dad's shop is just down the road, yes. <laughs> awesome. Those two things, Zach, that I want to touch on of what Shining Abilities does, and the first is the vocational day program. Can you share those? What is the vocational day program? And if you would, it, it might be hard to pick a flavor, but what? Uh, so first, what is the vocational day program? And then go into what what is your favorite activity or part of the vocational day program? Oh, okay. oh. so what's the vocational part of it? We learn life Vocation, skills. Uh, um, bus skills. But what are we learning about now? Because we're going oh, yeah. to, yeah. So we're working on our food safety because we're going to be opening up food, our uh, food, food, uh, uh, safety, safety, and our um, our marketplace. Right. We're going to be learning about our new market. Yep, and we make new things all the time. Right, that we can sell. For sale. Yeah. Awesome. And. Yeah. Speaking of sound, I think in, um, in the last segment you said that uh, uh, that there was that you um, going to be selling something that you make. Is is that your favorite part of the vacation or day program, or what? If you want to pick a favorite, what's, what's your, favorite? your favorite part of being here? Uh, let's say um, relax a little bit. What is that? Let's chill. What? Oh, <laughs> he likes to just relax and chill with his brother, right? But it's really your yeah. best friend. Yeah, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 friends before, uh, uh, be before that. Yeah, you've been friends for a really long time with a lot of these people, right? Yeah. Right. Um, and speaking of uh, being, being friends with... and. Maybe that's what um, why you enjoy, but why why do you enjoy the vocational day program? Hmm. Learning things, right? Learning things. Learning new things. Learning new things. Yeah. And as Jenny said, you guys just got started, so I'm sure you guys are uh, hopefully going to um, be, be getting other people in the community to be involved with shining abilities that live up uh, a little bit north of where I am. But what 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 would you say to encourage others to get involved in the uh, vocational day program with shining abilities, uh, Zach? What and and then um, Johnny, you, you you can pop in there too. But Zach, yeah. Zach what, what would you say to encourage others yeah. to get involved to get other and, people to come here and mm -hmm. and join you and your friends? Um. Don't look at me. What you? What would you say? <laughs> <laughs> what would you say? Tell people you enjoy coming here. Tell people uh, coming here. <laughs> How would you encourage them to come here? Uh, 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 oh, come here. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Uh, fun here. Fun here. <laughs> Have fun. What else? What else? Anything else? Uh, no. 
<laughs> well, would we want to get more people, right? Yeah, more people. So more people. Maybe mm -hmm. tell some of your other friends, right, to come here and. Oh, oh yeah, uh, uh, my friends are, are, are uh, my friends are, are, are graduated with me. Yeah, that graduated with you. Yes. Okay. Tell them about it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, my friends in school. Um. I I guess we uh, uh I guess we uh three schools three years ago right yeah no. yeah awesome okay yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. I guess we did, uh John T John T McGee school so you have friends from each one of these schools so would you encourage them to come here to this vocational day program yeah yeah I'm just gonna ask that first. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Because it's and, a safe, comfortable space for you, right? Yes. Awesome. Um, did, did you want to add anything, Jenny, uh, on why why people should? Uh... Sure, sure. So there re really in our area, there are some SRAs, but there are no vocational day programs. There are no um, community-based programs. We work very closely with our community. Um, and like I said, we are we are in the process of opening up this vocational aspect of it. So um, something new and exciting. And Zach, believe it or not, is very excited about it. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, for those of you just listening to the audio podcast, then we want to encourage you to go to the video, specialchronicles.com, click on YouTube, mm -hmm. and uh, you can see the you know, enthous enthusiasm <laughs> of uh, Zach. But what uh, it kind of we've got a l a less than ten minutes left uh, okay. of the episode because we don't want it to be that long. And so switching gears to Special Olympics, Ooh. which for those and you might have to kind of show up show the the medal to the viewers uh, that that is around your neck, the civil medal that mm -hmm. is around yes. your neck uh, that is fresh off of the. Summer Games for Special Olympics Illinois. What is the Northern Life Special Olympics Agency, Zach? And what what sports does uh, what Special Olympic sports does uh, Northern Lights offer you and your teammates? What sports do you do? Uh, sports. Uh, I do um, bocce, track and field, bowling, and, and basketball. That's good. I don't. Team, awesome. teams, team, and skills. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. I also play in in I also play basketball, oh. special Olympics, and then I'll be starting bocce for the first time next month. Oh, oh. By the time I listen to you this the previous month, whenever you're listening, uh, he's a bocce. I am. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Well, yeah. Well, that silver medal. Uh, can, <laughs> <laughs> uh, speak for, can speak for itself that 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 you know how to play bocce. <laughs> why uh why do you uh enjoy participating in special olympics because mm. you win medals right? I mean, for medals <laughs> <laughs> and all of your friends you play with all of your friends right yeah, we have 25 yeah. bocce players uh who all of your friends play bocce right uh, so Northern oh, Lights is actually part of Shining Abilities. It falls underneath our agency, our independent agency falls underneath Shining Abilities. Um, and we started that about two years ago before actual Shining, the yeah. vocational day program opened, right? Yeah. And this was Zach's first turn going downstate. Awesome. And he got a silver medal. It was pretty cool, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. So what, uh, Zach, and then, then Jenny, you, you can add briefly to what, what would you say to encourage other, uh, oh, what's your favorite pallet sack of Special uh, Olympics? Is it going down to the summer games or what? what's your favorite pallet? You like the basketball games, right? Yeah, basketball fans. Yeah, that's your favorite. Awesome. Yeah. And, and what would you say, Zach and Jenny, to, to encourage others to become a special Olympics athlete like you, myself, and the over 4 million special Olympics athletes across the globe? What would you say to encourage others to become an athlete? Do it, right? Yeah, do it. Why? 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 I want them to do it, yeah. 
Was it a lot of fun competing? Yeah, fun you, competing. You meet people from all around, all right? Around. Yep. And awesome. all your friends do it, right? All my friends do it. Awesome. And then, uh, and then uh, Johnny, from your, your perspective, why why should someone become a coach or volunteer or fan in the stands? Or, oh, my or- goodness, because it's just amazing. It is an amazing organization. Um, they bring everybody together. Summer games that Zach got to participate in this weekend. The first time he had a great matchup. I, I, I think he had a great time, right, Zach? Yeah. Did you have a great time? Yeah. So, yeah. yeah exactly. So every single time that you compete, are you going to try and get back down to state now? Mm, not really, though. No, you don't want to compete and get more medals? I do, I do. Uh, you do. You do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Um, um, in July, I'm going to Florida. <laughs> You're going on uh, a trip, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I was gonna just to kind of wrap up this segment before we get into the the final last few minutes of, of the program. Um, I know that this half hour is is flying by. Uh, <laughs> uh, those are those a lot of impact that this movement, that the Special Olympics movement has for not just us athletes, but for our families, volunteers, staff, fans, coaches, sponsors, all that. Uh, We're going to go ahead and just take a final break to let you all know that uh, support for Special Chronicles also also comes from United Airlines Bridge Disability Business Resource Group, connecting people of all abilities. Learn more on United's commitment to disability inclusion for employment and travel at specialchronicles.com slash United. That's specialchronicles.com slash United. And Zach, with that, as we come to this final part of the program, um, where can our listeners learn more about Shining Abilities? Website, Instagram, Facebook? Are we on Facebook? Yes. Are we on Instagram? No. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. <laughs> do we have our own YouTube page? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. And Zach is actually very talkative in our in, in our YouTube page. <laughs> yeah. So awesome. yeah, I, under Shining Abilities, right? Awesome. So shiningabilities.org, and then we'll, we'll, we'll make sure to put links to your YouTube channel and Instagram, Facebook in the show notes so all all listeners can uh, see you, Zach, on YouTube and follow and learn more. As as well as we'll put links to where listeners can learn more about the Combat Energy Force Ambassador program and to listen to the other episodes of this Energy Force series. Um, Before we we get to the final question, Zach, I know this past half hour has flown by, but do you have any final thoughts on your overall time here today on the Special Chronicles podcast that you'd like to share with our um, listeners? Well, you have a lot of Comet events coming up this summer, don't you? Yeah, some. And he's trying to do a lot of them locally so that we can incorporate that community aspect that Shining Abilities is all about, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and may even do some at the library too. So stay tuned, right? Oh, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so for those listening, uh, I think this episode will drop in the beginning of August, but. I uh, go and follow Shining Abilities. You can learn more. And um, we've got one final question I always conclude these conversations with. And we've got a bumple to introduce us. Let's go ahead and roll that bumple. Oh, oh wait. Uh, let's go ahead and raise that volume up so we all can heal. <laughs> let's go ahead and roll that bumple. Not just athletes. We are the ambassadors of an uprising. Peaceful protesters. In a rebellion against anyone who has a fear of death. Different. Difference. Our demands are equality, 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 dignity, 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 and the recognition of our shared humanity. We will not stop or accept anything less. Today, our world is more divided than ever. And coming together has never been more urgent. The revolution is inclusion. Find out more at jointherevolution.org. I will since I attended the 2019 Special Olympics World Games in Abu Dhabi five years ago. I've been asking all the guys one point a question, and um, inclusion is important here at Special Climate Goals and in the Special Olympics movement. I'm sure it's having abilities. It's not just a listener's hearing your story, Zach, hearing, uh, consuming the content, but this is the, po- the point 
as we leave our listeners, we want them to take something and bring inclusion into their communities with them. So, Zach, and if if, if Jenny, if, if you want to add uh, any thoughts to this as well, you can do that. But um, conclude with what does inclusion mean to you? What does that mean to be included, right? Include. Does it mean to be included in things? What does inclusion mean to you? Uh, to be part of the community? In anything in your community? In your community, mm-hmm. to be part of it's kind of where Shining Abilities comes from is we want to be included into our community. So we offer lots of different community programs, right? Mm-hmm. We work closely with our neighbors right over at Cedar Ridge, which is an, a, a uh, oops, sorry, is a, <laughs> is a um, assisted living home. Um, we work closely with the police, don't we? Yeah, police. You did some fun stuff with, where did we go? Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah. Oh, or oh, cop on a roof. Oh, 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 yeah. 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 So we like to be included into our community, right? Yes. Right. Um, awesome. So that that's a perfect uh, perfect way to wrap up uh, our time together too. I know that the time has flown by, but I'm sure <laughs> we'll have to have you both back on or do yeah. another podcast in the future. And uh, as we wrap up, we've got a, a few final reminders that I'll. I want to let all of you out there listening know that uh, you can uh, join our supporters with a monthly or one-time donation to help us operate our studio. And you can support this podcast with a donation at specialchronicles.com slash give, specialchronicles.com slash give. And you can join our Special Chronicles Plus uh, to uh, receive the bonus content, bonus podcast. We're currently, uh, our website team is helping us to put that together. So hopefully by the time you all hear this, it will be up. I'm hoping. <laughs> so hopefully our website team can uh, help us uh, with that. Uh, but specialchronicles.com slash plus to loan more and join our bonus content. And you can shop our merchandise store. Uh, and show your support of Special Chronicles. Our Special Chronicles store is made us by Outshine Labels. We have T-shirts, hoodies, coffee mugs, uh, our, disab- our Disabled Voices Metal collection. Uh, 60%, 60% of the profits will go back to support Special Chronicles. Specialchronicles.com slash shop. Specialchronicles.com slash shop. And remember to tap that follow button on uh, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, wherever you get your podcasts so you never miss a new episode drops weekly every Monday. Don't miss all wood general content that help you make impactful inclusive connections in your life. And remember, specialchronicles.com for links to follow us on social media. Our newsletter gives you archives of over 750 episodes absolutely for free and our YouTube channel if you would prefer to watch the Podcast. Until then, Zach, thank you again for coming on the Special Chronicles thank podcast. You. Thank you. And I, I, I will, I'll, I'll let you have the final word before the outro. But until then, everyone, remember choose to include. And anything else you want to say, Zach? Uh, no, I'm good. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. <laughs> thank you for having uh, me. And we'll cut you out next week right here. Same place, same time, anytime. It's just same. same. <laughs> Thank you, Daniel. Jack, um, cut you out next week. Thank okay. you all. Thank you. Thanks for listening to this episode of the Special Chronicles podcast. Our podcast was produced by Daniel Smikowski on the Special Chronicles Network. Follow Special Chronicles on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. Subscribe, rate, and review Special Chronicles on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen to podcasts. 
our website, specialchronicles.com, where you can stream our archives of over 500 episodes for absolutely for free. Also, there's a list of our favorites, original series, award-winning columns, and blogs. And sign up for our newsletter to receive exclusive bonus content that delivers to your inbox. Again, specialchronicles.com. Special Chronicles is hosted by Podbean Podcast Hosting. Our live streams are powered by StreamYard. Thanks, as always, to our business manager, Adam Smukowski, who always in- encourages us to never give up. I'm Daniel Smukowski, back next week with more stories. Special Chronicles. Giving respect and a voice to people with special needs. <laughs>